My name is Rosalie. I am a single mother of two children. We've been in government housing, well, I have since I um, started living independently, doing my year 11 and 12 um, at 16 years of age. My son, Maya, uh, was born with a rare genetic syndrome. Its name is Coffin-Lowry syndrome. It affects Maya's capacity intellectually, physically, he requires consistent support. He walked for six months uh, when he was five years of age uh, and started having seizures, which uh, disabled his mobility. Our housing was not appropriate given that it was a one bedroom property. Um, and there was also some other risks involved from um, abusive <laughs> risks so we were moved out of that property into a transitional property again in Port Melbourne and um, we were there for seven years and we were moved to this property in Collingwood. I hoped and I did advocate heavily for it to not be transitional and permanent in nature so that the right modifications could occur. We need the, we need the back of this house modified so that it's wheelchair accessible, we need the width we need a open plan environment um, and we need a space at least half of the house accessible for his equipment um, he has a walking frame as well he has this standing frame um, and he has a wheelchair and a big awesome new bed so I'm really happy that but that we've got this equipment but now we need to actually use it all of this could be appropriated through a little bit of an extension instead of trying to change the front of two rooms which me and Poppy can have it quite easily. The mayor requires 24-7 assistance with all of his self-care needs but also monitoring his risks um, as his intellectual disability doesn't necessarily enable him to understand what will harm him. I have to manually lift him in his wheelchair into the house up a few steps. That's not something I can do ongoing. It's also very detrimental to the equipment that has taken five years um, through the NDIS, thank you, but um, too long. This property is owned by the government. So this property can be modified. I've been told no to all of the modifications because they don't meet some form of a code. The um, the person making those decisions, I don't know if they, you know, appreciate me saying this, so that their caseload was up to like 300 or 400 places. And so they're literally just operating off a checklist of no's. I was offered a property for the first time in 10 years, a few months ago, it was not appropriate, would not fit any of the equipment. Also, they say if you don't respond within five days, you get taken off the list. They're speaking to ho people that are potentially homeless that may not have access to the internet. So if I didn't respond to that email within five days, we're taking off the list. Living without the physical and mental effects and the pressure of stress, um, which, is, which is really degrading my coping mechanisms. But without the mechanisms in society for one to cope, one cannot cope. And um, I really don't don't want to institutionalize my child. I don't want our family to split up. I I don't want any more. <laughs> transgenerational trauma of, of, of segregation and, and of displacement. We love this community so much. Um, Poppy's, my daughter um, is, is, is engaged with Clifton Hill Primary School and having um, gone through a lot of her own safety concerns of which they've just resolved through the family court, um, she's in a point of stability. She takes on a lot. It is extremely important for her mental um, 
health and her projection into her teenage years and early adulthood, as we're aware, early childhood has a great effect. Um, and that's already been compromised. It's a, it's a huge pressure and I, and I really want to highlight that there is a lot of capacity in carers. Um, they can understand what it is. The, the real fabric of community and society is supporting each other. I could give back to the community. You know, it doesn't have to all be about me and Mayo. Um, I, could, I could use my intellect, my advocacy skills to actually <laughs> do a bit more. And that's what I'd like to be able to do. But until I have my and my basic family's needs met, I can't actualize my potential.